With her House Republican leadership job in jeopardy, Liz Cheney remains defiant, warning her colleagues in a new Washington Post op-ed that history is watching as they push to oust her for calling out former President Trump's repeated lies about the 2020 election. The third-ranking House Republican calling this a turning point, urging her party to, quote, steer away from the dangerous and anti-democratic Trump cult of personality. The former president looking to tighten his grip on the GOP, lashing out at Cheney as a warmongering fool who has no business in Republican Party leadership, while endorsing a top loyalist, Elise Stefanik, as a far superior choice. The Republican Civil War coming at a time when many thought they'd be united to win back Washington, with Democrats holding Congress by a slim majority and President Biden moving forward with massive spending proposals and one of the most sweeping liberal agendas in years. The president saying the GOP appears to be in the midst of a mini revolution. I think the Republicans are further away from trying to figure out who they are and what they stand for than I thought they would be at this point. Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell insisting attention has not strayed. 100 percent of my focus is on standing up to this administration. The number two House Republican Steve Scalise calling for Cheney's removal, arguing her feud with Mr. Trump is distracting from GOP efforts to win back the House. Top House Republican Kevin McCarthy has already broken with Cheney, slamming her before a Fox News appearance Tuesday in this hot mic moment obtained by Mediaite. I've had it with her. It's, you know, I've lost confidence. Megan McCain saying Wednesday, McCarthy is sending the wrong message. The message that's being sent by the highest uh, member of Republicans in Congress is that women like me and Liz Cheney, who refuse to bend the knee to President Trump, but still remain loyal Republicans, we don't have a place in this party. We are worthless. We are not worth fighting for. So, Peter, how does this uh, play out? What's next in this leadership battle? Are there enough votes to replace Congresswoman Cheney? Yeah, Savannah, so House Republicans could vote as early as next Wednesday to expel Cheney from that leadership position. And they say they do have the votes. You'll remember it was just three months ago that the House Republicans voted in support of her in that position. So it shows you how quickly the Republican Party is now changing in its support of President Trump. By the way, next Wednesday, the same vote, the same day that vote could happen, is the day that President Biden is set to host leaders from both parties, including Mitch McConnell and Kevin McCarthy. Savannah. All right, Peter Alexander, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.